Well, hi there. It's Scott Duffy, and I want to talk to you today about the AZ204 Developing Solutions for Microsoft Azure Beta Exam. Now, on the exam landing page, Microsoft is telling us that there's been some changes to this exam while it's in beta. We've had a relatively long beta period. The AZ204 went into beta at the end of February, but the exam that it's replacing, AZ203, does not leave us until the end of August. Obviously, the worldwide crisis has affected this timeline. So there's a six-month period between when the exam went into beta and when the exam it retires. Now, uh, so maybe it's not so unusual with a six-month period that Microsoft has rethunk some of the requirements of this exam. If we go down to the PDF here, the Download Exam Skills Outline, we can see that we've got the usual track changes in this document. And we can see the before and now the after. So the following changes are implemented on May 18th. They've added PowerShell and CLI as a list of things that you need to be proficient in. So PowerShell and CLI skills are now um, expected for people who want to take the AZ-204 exam. They've bumped up the percentages on Azure Compute. So there's just a, a tiny fraction of more questions, perhaps two or three more questions on the exam relating to this. One thing that stands out for me is that AKS has been removed from the exam. So they are now expecting you to know some of the developer stuff like Azure Container Instances is very relevant for developers, how to create container images and push them to Docker, push them into Azure Container Registry, uh, but not how to create AKS services. Now there's been some uh, let's call them uh, uh, typographic changes and wording changes. And so this isn't really new requirements so much as clarifications. They bump down the Azure storage, but now they're adding the concept of scaling into Cosmos DB. Also server side programming. This is the first time that I've seen the concept of store procedures, triggers, and change feed notifications on it, one of these core Azure exams. So now we're getting right into how programmers work with Cosmos DB. Um, our back into security, that's pretty straightforward. These are just clarifications, again, bumping up the how to consume Azure services. Now that's an additional 5% as well, but the topics haven't been touched. So these are not, uh, not lots of great changes, certainly removing AKS and adding concepts of Cosmos DB programming is going to be some of the two big changes and also this clarification that you should know PowerShell and CLI before attempting this exam. So just a heads up that if you're planning to take AZ-204 that there are a few changes to that. Now do keep in mind with beta exams, I've, I've got a separate video talking about this, but given that this AZ-203 exam does not retire until August 31st, if you choose to take the beta exam for AZ-204, you might be waiting a while. You might have a couple of more months of waiting for them because now they've changed the exam. And so they've got to now collect more data on the pass and fail rates and on the questions that are tripping people up. So they've basically reset the timeline. Maybe they're taking advantage of this long beta period to, um, to retweak it just a little bit more. And uh, that's totally understandable. So if you're going to take the beta, you're going to end up waiting until September 15th, roughly, to get the results. But that's okay if you're if you're okay with it. I've been suggesting people to take the AZ203 if you're really interested in getting certified today. Uh, that's it. This has been Scott. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you have any questions, of course, I'll leave them. I do have AZ203 training available. Links in the description. And I am in the process, as I was just about to open this up, of creating the AZ-204 content. And so uh, you should see updates to that course for AZ-204 coming this summer. Anyways, thank you very much.